Hi everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving to all my American viewers. Um, yeah, and I hope everyone had a good week. So I'm a little bit late with this video um, because my uh, it was a busy weekend. My mom um, came to town to babysit my son because I had my Christmas party um, last night. So she came to town to look after him for us. And um, yeah, and then today just a lot of running around to do. And um, we had a bit of an ice storm um, today. So a lot of freezing rain, everything is covered in a sheet of ice. So it was, it's been an interesting day for sure. Yeah, so um, that's been my weekend. Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, actually, haven't done much stitching this week. Um, my son has had some listening issues at school still, and so he got a lot of time in his room, no iPad, and things like that. So um, that meant um, a lot less time that he was more independent and distracted. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but, um, so no iPad time for him means no stitching time for mom. So, um, Monday and Tuesday was a write off that way. And, um, yeah, so, oh, well, life as a parent. Um, yeah, so something else that I've been doing and, um, you know, some people may not, may be interested in, some may not, um, is, um, a 30 day, 30 minute running challenge that my um, coach has put up to kind of prep everyone for um, the upcoming training season in January. So each day you just go out and do a 30 minute run. So for me to get that done every day um, needs to be in the dark either in the morning or night. Um, so I have enlisted my dog to come along as well which he's actually um, done really well at. So um, it's been interesting because he is very um, very skittish kind of um and very just aware of his surroundings and uh i didn't know he was so sheltered but apparently he is um but uh so he's a bigger dog he's a shepherd husky malamute lab cross so a lot of big dogs in there but he's actually not as big as we thought he was going to get um but you know he's big enough to have a presence um when I'm running, um, at night. So, um, so we've been doing that. Um, today was the seventh day of the 30 days. Uh, I changed things up a little bit today because of all the ice. Um, I did decide just to do a 30 minute walk instead, just because, um, at the dark, in the dark, I couldn't see where the ice still was on the sidewalks and thought that we should both come back without any <clears throat> broken bones. So, um, I did 30 minute walk instead. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, thank you to all my 57 subscribers. As always, your support is appreciated. Um, thank you to 911 Stitcher and um, Time for Stitching for your um, comments on my last video. I appreciate that. Um, 911 Stitcher had asked where um, to find the link for the Jardin Privé um, stitch along that I had mentioned on that um, Petite Point fabric um and so i did link that in the comment section um below on my last video if anyone was looking for that it was just um on her website um it was a little bit more difficult to find because her website is in french um but um yeah i did uh, i did link that below if you're looking for that and then um uh, time for stitching had um just suggested that they thought that uh, it was too much on that um, that fabric I was using, and um, I agree. So I ripped that out. <clears throat> well, rip. I started to rip it out, and then I just got annoyed, and then so I just uh, kind of cut it out. Um, but I've started something else instead, like literally just the first few stitches, um, which is um, a Doreen Jones freebie that's on her Facebook page. Might not be there anymore but it um, has deer and then like some trees and it's more like full coverage the piece so I think this will look like snowflakes I think it will work better and then this is kind of the this is the color palette for it so I think that will work that 
that didn't work, but um, I think those colors will work um, on that fabric. Let's let's give that another try here. Kind of, can you see that? Yeah. So um, that's what I decided to do with that, and I had asked what people had thought, and I appreciate your comments. Um, Time for stitching also asked if the piece behind me um, was a cross stitch piece. Yes, it is, um, and it was a kit that I had uh, got from Disney World when they were still doing kits. Um, it was actually a pretty quick stitch, um, but yeah, it is a cross stitch piece. So as far as haul goes, no haul, but I did win a giveaway. Yay! Um, and it was a giveaway from Kayla Cola. And let me just show you what I got. So the giveaway was for this pattern here. This train pattern. And she had stitched the whole train, I believe, for her son. And I had commented, I think my son would love that and I would love to stitch it as well. So that um, was what the giveaway was. And so that's my first ever giveaway that I won. So that was pretty exciting. Um, and then she also sent through some silk floss, which I've never used silk before. So thank you. And then also this little train. So now that I showed you guys, I can give it to my son. And he has some of these little trains, so you can add that to his collection. Thank you, Kayla, greatly appreciate it. If you haven't checked out her floss tube, definitely do. Um, she's uh, a fairly new floss tuber, so um, definitely check her out. That's Kayla Cola. Excellent. And um, yeah, so as far as the enchanted stitching goes, uh, as I said, I haven't done a lot of stitching. Um, but I am caught up on the challenges. Um, I think the only thing that was left over to do in my last um, Enchanted Stitches was um, the elephant start that I was do gonna do for the one. And then that also worked into my acrostic challenge as well. Um, so this is how far I got. It was just, it's just a pattern from Daily Cross Stitch. Um, and it's, I only have the pattern, so I don't really want to show that, but, um, it's just like a mommy and a baby elephant. So that fit into two boxes that way. Um, and then for this week for Enchanted Stitches, um, we had to stitch something that was inspired from an, or board elements, board elements or inspiration from another stitcher. So, I can't really show what it is, and I can't really say too much, because it's actually, I'm going to be stitching it for someone, they don't know they're getting it. They may watch this floss tube, they may not. If me even saying that they might is me thinking too highly of myself, probably. But, um, uh, I don't want to show it, just in case they do, because I would be honored if they did. Um, but, um... Yeah, it is something out of this Cross Stitcher magazine. Um, and it is a piece of a bigger piece um, of it. If once I get it done, um, I can, I'll try to take a picture of it so I can show it once it goes to where I have intended it to go. Um, but that's what I'm working on for that. Um, very vague, but I hope you understand. Um, and then the second one was stitch on an animal that would be your spirit guide in the afterlife. And they refer to the Spanish word for that. I'm not going to pretend to know how to say that because I don't. Um, so I decided to work on my rooster from Barnyard Christmas, Prairie Schooler. So that guy up there. Cause sure, he could be my spirit. There we go. And look at that, there's two needles on the fabric. I wonder what project I thought I was missing a needle from. Huh. So yeah, so I got a little bit done on him. And that's on my tea dyed fabric. Get that back 
in there a little bit better. Perfect. I should probably get a plastic sleeve or something for that one. Um, yeah, so that's the second one. Third is stitch on something that makes you want to cry. So I picked um, Irony from the laundry series because ironing wants makes me want to cry so I started that one so that goes along with the other one I started and not that far so that's a good little start that perfect and then so that also um the elephants irony and then the rooster all fit in to my um 24 hours of cross stitch the cross stitch challenge for november so that ticks all the boxes so i worked on every project that was there so since it's december 1st there is a new acrostic challenge for 24 hours of cross stitch um I have it printed. I have a couple filled in of what I'm going to do, um, but I need to really look at that a little bit more. As far as Enchanted Stitches goes, um, because the end of the month ended on Saturday, today was kind of a free day. They announced that we could work on whatever we wanted and each hundred stitches would count um, to our team. So I decided to work on... Um, Snow Village, still working on the first pattern. So I got a lot of the snow down on the bottom there and then one of the trees. Um, what well, I mean a lot of the snow down long. That's what I mainly worked on today. I, there's still a lot more of the snow to go. Um, but that's what I worked on on that. And I think the third, the third pattern has shipped from Fat Quarter Shop um, because it got a new, uh, shipping notification. Oh, and I might have placed a order for patterns from the Fat Quarter Shop for Black Friday, maybe, possibly. Um, yeah. So that is what I worked on for our free day. And then so for the movie for Enchanted Stitches for December, it is going to be the Santa Claus. So, so that's good. So I'll rewatch that at some point because um, I do a Disney Plus, yay. Um, yeah. So that's all for Enchanted Stitches. Um, what else? So as I said, I didn't have a lot of time to stitch. So I didn't get a lot of stitching done, but um, I did want to talk about a couple other things. So, um, just a couple other little products. So, um, there's a craft show this weekend. So we went to the craft show. My former boss, who's now my colleague, and so she was my former boss at a different company. Now she's called my colleague at this company. Um, we went to this big craft show that that um, happens every time, every year around Christmas time, and we got these delicious chocolate covered soybeans like delicious like I've already gone through this bag and then my mom and I went back to the craft show today and I bought some more so I just wanted to show that in case anyone was interested they do have a website um it might be difficult to get to the U.S. maybe not um but they are based in Ontario Canada and they're called the bean ladies um but they're really really yummy um, and then something else I picked up. So I'm in um, a Secret Santa exchange on a Facebook group. And I don't think that she would watch this video. Um, so I'm okay with, and again, it's like very Secret Santa. So I don't think even if she did that she would put that, it was the two and two together. So um, I wanted to get something that was, um, locally made in London. She is in um, 
we'll just say the western part of Canada. That way, in case she does watch the video, not too much is is, is said. But um, yeah, so I wanted to get something that was locally made for her. So I went to a local store that does handmade stuff, and I got this cool notebook. And she says she likes elephants. And look at these elephants inside. So kind of neat that way. Like there's different pages and stuff. That page apparently came out. We'll just stick that back in there. Um, but yeah. So I thought that was neat. It's like pocket in the back. So she does um yeah, so I thought maybe she could, you know, write her projects or, you know, whatever in it. But I thought and the belt does that. But I thought that was a neat little thing. Cause I wanted to get something that was useful and that was locally made. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, but yeah, so the store I got it from is the Bean Garden, the uh, B E E N, and boy, lots of beans that we're talking about. And uh, yeah, I'll link the website below for the Bean Garden as well, because I do know that they do ship. So um, if you are interested in something that was made in um, in London, Ontario, then uh, you can check that out. Now, so since I have won a giveaway um, that has made me really want to um, give back to my viewers as well, because um, I definitely appreciate um, the opportunities that giveaways have, um, you know, to interact um, with the Floss Tube community. And I'm just so appreciative of um, all the Floss Tubers that have a giveaway. Um, I thought, why not give it a shot myself as well? So I have um, a little cross stitch kit. Um, it looks like it would be good maybe for a beginner. So um, if you want to stitch this or if you know someone who may want to stitch it, maybe like uh, a friend that's just getting into it or maybe a child, um, then definitely um, enter for this giveaway. So it's a little cat. Um, and yeah, it's just a, it's just a cross stitch kit, five by five inches. Um, yeah, includes the, you can't see the pattern, so I'll show you what it includes there in the back. But yeah, it's never been opened. Um, so if you're interested in um, winning that kit, um, definitely comment below. So usual stuff for giveaways must be 18. Don't say giveaway. Um, definitely be someone that's interested in, in possibly stitching it. Or as I said for this one, I think it does look like it's, it is, um, would be good for a beginner. So if you know someone who wants to learn, um, that can appreciate it, definitely enter. Um, and, uh, my question is, do you have any pets? So I'll be looking for those types of answers, um, for anyone that may be interested in, um, in getting that, um, kit. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I have for this week. Again, not a lot of stitching, um, but uh, yeah, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving um, and that you have a good week ahead. And I think I should be able to um, do a video next Saturday, uh, but we will see. So um, talk to you guys again soon, hopefully on the weekend. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.